so here we are in uh, Groningen in uh, the Netherlands looking at some really interesting companies in music meets tech and here is a special company Hans Ober is the founder and the CEO I guess you are of TicketSwap. Hans, welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, so tell us what TicketSwap is and why is it so unique? Well, TicketSwap is a platform where you can buy and sell your secondhand e-tickets. Right. Uh, we make sure it's safe, it's uh, in an honest way for the maximum price of 120%. Uh, and it works perfectly easy. So it's one great invention. So you've got some slides that will also give yeah. a visual idea. So why don't you take us through some of these and talk over the slides and tell us what they say and why, why, you've, well, why you've done them. Well, I started because I thought that it was a mess. The, uh, secondary what was a mess? Secondary, secondary ticketing. ticketing. Yeah, it was a mess. Right. Uh, you couldn't sell your tickets if you, was, you were sick. You have only uh, ticket traders who, who want to make money out of tickets. Right. So we th I thought, well, fi yeah, that problem should be solved. I don't want to sell my tickets here. So Facebook was a mess, Marktplatz was a mess. So uh, we came up with the idea of TicketSwap. Uh, well, it works as a marketplace, uh, first up, because you connect buyers and sellers to find each other. What uh, kind of sellers and what kind of buyers? You mean uh, people that have bought market uh, bought tickets through the secondary ticket market? No, no, the ticket, uh, original tickets from, let's say, Ticketmaster, right. Paylogic, the right. ticket script, whatever. Right. And if they are sick or uh, their friends are not going anymore, right. uh, then, yeah, then they sell their tickets. Right. And normally it, it happened on Facebook or Marktplatz and it, it was not working. A lot, a lot of people got scammed. Right. Uh, and it was uh, not very clear for everyone how it worked. Huh. So uh, we also facilitated transactions. So you upload the ticket. We do all kind of checks. Uh, check the barcode. We check the, if it's photoshopped or not. And if we accept the ticket, then the listing is uh, created. And if there's a listing online, everyone who wants can pay and buy the ticket. And he immediately receives the ticket. Then. So your, your customer base is... How do you identify who your potential customers are? Uh, well, everyone who, is, who buys a ticket for an event that has a certain date. And uh, what's your business model and how are you going to make money out of this process? Well, we take 5% on the buyer's side and on the seller's side, uh -huh. so a total of 10%. And how long has the company been going so far, Hans? Uh, it's, uh, we are running out for uh, three years. <coughs> and how's it been coming along? Well, we have 610,000 registered users. Wow. So it's going very well. I think uh, most wow. people here... 610,000 registered yeah, users? Yeah. So I think most people here walking around know, uh, know us or have heard of us. And Do you find that your business spikes during the summer season? When the festival season is with us? Uh, yes, but also during ADE. ADE was our best week. So ADE uh, was your best week? Yeah. Why was that? Uh, yeah, there's so much going on, and people buy tickets way, way in advance. And if the moment is there, and you check your friends, and they don't have tickets, or they have other plans, or another cooler party is announced, then you want to go there. Right. So you sell your tickets and try to buy tickets on TicketShop. So it works really well. And you're uh, primarily based in the Netherlands? Uh, yeah, our main, main customer base from the Netherlands, but we are uh, launched in France, Belgium and Germany as well. And we are now translating it to all, all, all other European languages as well. To and how has the pickup been like in Belgium and in France? Uh, well, it's going well. It's the best is in Holland, but it's where the most effort is in. So we're now really focusing on really making those markets in, uh, take over the revenue of Holland. And how do you collect your 5% from the buyer and the seller? Well, if you... If you Registered? Uh, yeah, if you buy a ticket for, let's say, 20 euros, you, uh, we charge you 21, and we pay out 19. Such a fascinating example of getting what are called remnant ticketing or secondary ticketing done in a much more organized way where the consumer knows that they're not going to be cheated. Yeah, and we uh, work with a lot of organizers. We work with the ticketing company to make sure that we replace the sold ticket with a new one. 
and the old one is being cancelled. So, you know, if, in fact, you have a new ticket, it's completely secure. So I think we resolve many of the yeah, long-known issues for secondary ticketing with that. And what do people like Ticketmaster and StubHub think of you? Uh, well, Ticketmaster isn't that pleased, but they have the, uh, their own platform that's competition, it's Seatwave. Uh, and a lot, of, a lot of organizers really like us and work with us uh, to make sure that it's, uh, yeah, their, their customers are having the best experience possible. And how do you judge the feedback from the customers other than doing the transaction from one to another? How can you judge that it's worked well for them? Would it be that they would then get friends of theirs to sign up to the service? Yeah, yeah, they, they are our ambassadors. So, And we have uh, our phone number communi communicated everywhere on our website, email address. So if there are questions, remarks, or whatever, they always call us. And so let's say, for example, I was in Amsterdam what is the number that I'd call in Amsterdam? Uh, yeah, a 020 number. I don't know, I don't know it's on top of my head. And that would be on the ticket swap website? Yeah. yeah. And where else, how else do you advertise? Or is it all basically online, all word of well, mouth? Everybody, all word of mouth, because everybody who is selling a ticket is one ambassador for us. He shares it on Facebook, on his wall, on the Facebook event right. page, which spread out and makes us... Uh, we have 10, uh, no, 14 million impressions a month on Facebook. Wow. It's amazing that it's really grown organically so fast, yeah. really fulfilling a need which is clearly today in today's world where people don't have time. This is a time saver yeah. and a hassle saver. Yeah, it's really easy. Uh, a lot of tickets are being sold within one or two minutes. So we design specially, we have special text messages for people who sell their uh, tickets really fast with a funny note like, hey, wow, you sold your ticket in so okay, many so let seconds. Me give, let me give you an example. Let's say Armand van Buren yeah. is going to be playing at a club in Amsterdam. You know that it's going to be a hot ticket in town. You know some people are not going to be able to attend because of personal uh, circumstances in their daily lives. How would that work? Uh, you can register and say that you are looking for a ticket and we send you an email when there are tickets available or a push message or whatever. Well, that sounds like a very efficient marketplace. So, Hans, um, what would your message be and what are you, are you looking for more funding? Are you looking to develop into other countries? What would the message be you'd like to get across to the many people around the world that are watching this? I want to, yeah conquer the world with ticket swap. So that's the most important thing uh, for us today. Uh, we, we don't have any investors, uh, so we try to do everything ourselves, but in the end, when we have a huge plan where we need money, we can always look for money then. Right. And have you had people coming to you saying they'd be looking to investing in ticket yeah, swap? Yeah, a lot, but we are lucky enough to make, make money from every ticket we sell. So. Uh, we can reinvest it immediately and keep keep uh, it going ourselves. This is brilliant. A brilliant idea, performing a brilliant service. So <coughs> what message would you give from here that you'd like to get out of the Music Meets Tech at Eurosonic? Uh, yeah, I, I really hope to uh, find a lot of like-minded people who want to make the secondary ticketing mar market safer and honest because you see a lot of uh, yeah, companies in this industry now uh, trying to make more and more and more money out of uh, ticketing and in a very intransparent way. And I like to open the market up and do it in an honest... Okay, let me give you a contemporary example. Adele has just recently announced she's going to be opening in March in the UK. <coughs> she's made a particular effort with her manager, Jonathan Dickens, to stop secondary, ticket, secondary marketing of her tickets. Mm -hmm. Have you found that there have been any people that have got Adele tickets wanting to sell them through Ticket Swap to other people because they might not make it? Uh, not yet. Uh, may maybe a few, uh, but right. there are, like I think for Adele on Ticket Swap are 20,000 people are looking for a ticket, or maybe even right. more. And the thing is, uh, there's are plenty of options to sell your tickets elsewhere for a lot more. But in the end. When an uh, event near, uh, yeah, approaches, then people start selling on Ticket Swap again. Wow, what a fascinating business you have. Thank you Hans very Ober, much. Hans Ober, thanks for coming to Music Meets Tech 
here in Groningen. Best of luck and make sure that those tickets keep flowing because it's good for the artists, good for the industry and good for Ticketswap. Thank you very much. Thank you.